What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Virgo Zodiac sign. We're going to do a reading of how your person feels towards you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap in with your energy first. So what I need for you to do is to get a picture of the person that you want to know how they feel towards you. Get a picture of them in your mind. Think about them, how they make you feel, how they um, how they smell, you know, whatever, whatever helps you connect to them, okay? We're going to start off with pulling your energy of how you feel towards them first. Okay. Spirit, tell me, how does Virgo feel towards this person that is on their mind? My son is so sick, y'all. I'm so sorry. He's just in there coughing. How does uh, Virgo feel towards this person that's on their mind? The Six of Swords energy. So you're moving on from this person. Strength card at the bottom. You're moving on from this person. You're trying to get over this person. You're trying to get past this person here. Like there's been a lot of chaos between you two. It's been a lot of animosity. A lot of destruction. Oh my God. What is going on here? This person has caused a lot of disruptions in your life here with this. Why am I getting all of this information here? Okay. Keep thinking about that person. How, uh, how does this person feel towards Virgo, please? Give me three cards. How does this person feel towards Virgo, please? Six, they got the Six of Swords, too. What is going on here? How does this person feel towards Virgo, please? Ace of Swords in reverse. Some of you, some of you, they got you. You got them blocked or they got you blocked. Clarify the Six of Swords. I'm sorry. Clarify how this person feel towards Virgo. The Sun card. Some of them, okay. Well, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's out in the cold. You either left this person out in the cold or you or they left you out in the cold. This is a, this seems like a breakup. Like you two are moving away from each other. You two both feel like to you the way that you both feel is exactly the same. You both are in the six of swords energy. You're trying to move away from this connection here. This person could either have you blocked or you got them blocked and they're trying to focus on their happiness. They're trying to move on cuz they want to feel at peace. It's like they feel like you cause too much trouble and, and chaos in their lives and you feel and you feel the same way about them. You feel like they do the same thing as well. Give me um, two more cards here. How does Virgo feel towards this person? Eight of Swords. You're still thinking about them. That's how Virgo feels towards this person. The Death card. But you've ended it. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you feel you're you're exhausted. You're tired. You're stressed. This person has caused too much. Look at all these swords. Could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You're stressed. You're you're done. You've you've hit the the Scorpio energy on them. You've nipped it in the bud. You're done. You're over it. So you could have either left them out in the cold. Yeah, you're ready for some change here. The will of fortune with the lovers. I feel like you you gave this person a lot of chances because I'm seeing the judgment as well. You gave this person a lot of chances. I feel like you've attempted a lot with this person. But every time you attempt it, it never went anywhere. It never went past a certain place. Like it just, it, it became too much. For some, I'm getting the word toxic. They're like whispering toxic in my ear. What the, I don't know why, why. That was kind of creepy. It was like toxic, you toxic. That's that's the way they whispered it. So I don't, oh, I don't know what that is. What's, what's under here? Yeah, see this person has the lovers too. So you two, I feel like some of you could have had a family with this person or was building, um, had some type of uh, financial connection with this person here. Because I see a lot of pentacles on their side. Nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, the lovers, and then the five of pentacles and eight of pentacles. You could have met this person at work. Or you two could have built a business get business together or, or your money was involved with each other here. What's the shared energy between Virgo and this person? What's the shared energy between Virgo and this person, please? Give me the shared energy between Virgo and this person. Oh, not today. Yeah, y'all not talking. Not today. Karmic relationship. This could have been a karmic relationship. Both of you could have been learning lessons from this connection here, whether you want to admit it or not. Seduction. There could have been a third party interference here or somebody was um, very flirtatious or um, always hooking up with somebody. I feel like it could have been a third party clock. You two, basically, your cycle has come, came to a close with this person. There was some sort of lesson you were supposed to learn from this connection here. So that you can move on and move forward. And I feel like whatever whatever happened, I, I don't know if you learned 
I feel like you might have learned the lesson. I feel like you put up with a lot, though, because the Eight of Swords is here. There was a lot of mental confusion here with this person. This person could have been playing games with you. What's the future actions of Virgo towards this person? What's the future actions of Virgo towards this person? Yeah, I don't see you interacting with this person. Yeah, I don't see you. You're actually bossing up. We have the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. I see you bossing up on your money. I see you taking back control here. Yeah, the chariot. You're moving on from this person. I don't see you interacting with this person anymore. You could have actually been the one that blocked them. <coughs> or vice versa, you know. Please take it as it resonates for the cross watcher. What's the future actions of this person towards Virgo? I feel like this, this has came to an end, okay? What's the future actions of this person towards Virgo? I gotta go check on my baby. What's the future actions of this person towards Virgo? I don't see them coming forward. They still think of you, if you're wondering about that. But they seem stressed too. What's the future actions of this person towards Virgo? Yeah, they feel... Uh, Five of Pentacles again, bottom of the deck. They feel like you're a liar, cheater. They feel like you stabbed them in the back or you cheated on them or you, you were sneaky. They feel like you're sneaky, like lying, cheating, deceiving. This is, oh Lord. They feel like they dealt with too much with you. Too much stress, too much drama. Too much mental anguish here. It's, I mean, it's nothing. It's like straight up swords energy between you and this person. I don't see this person communicating with you at all. I see them kind of like trying to move on, move away from this whole situation. You two are basically going separate ways. That's what y'all are doing. I don't see this coming back together here. Mm -hmm. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. And peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Yeah, you two... Whatever this connection was, it was very chaotic. It was a lot of, could have been like a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Could have been a lot of mental anguish between you two with the Six of Swords. Because the Six of Swords is moving on from chaos and, and rockiness and darkness. And and um, it's like, you know, like, I wish I could, let, let me see if I can find it. I love this, the Gregory Scott deck, the way that it shows the Six of Swords. I always love the way it shows it because it explains it exactly how it is like you guys are moving on from a situation or a relationship that wasn't good for either of you okay let me just say it like that it wasn't good for either of you because you both were yes here it is thank you look at this card here you see how this person surrounded by like demons and gargoyles and and uh, darkness and stuff like that that's what this person is surrounded by and that's what you two are moving on from okay you're no longer being involved with that so that's what I see for you. You two are both moving on from each other because you felt it was either toxic or it was too much. It just wasn't a healthy situation for both of you. So, But this is your reading, Virgo. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.